Kids Be Stream, and it was like a casino. There was sounds going off, and images popping up. You know I swore off gambling. If this is anything like a casino, I'm No, it's nothing like that. It's just alerts going off. You know, like when someone follows your channel or gives you money. Oh! No, 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 no. Just go grab yourself a chair. I'll show you how it works. All right, Cosmo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your stream alerts using stream elements. Alerts are an important part of being a streamer because it notifies you and lets you know when a viewer contributes to your stream by following, subscribing, rating, yada, yada, yada. You get the point. This gives you an opportunity to shout out and show appreciation to those that take time to show their support for you as a streamer. We're going to start off where we always start off, in the stream elements dashboard. And from there, you're going to make your way over to streaming tools and my overlays. Click the new overlay button and it'll take you to where the magic happens. Now, the first thing it'll ask you is your overlay resolution. It's important to match this with your stream resolution. So the alerts fit perfectly where you want them, Cosmo. To check your overlay resolution, you're going to open OBS. Go to file settings and then you're going to click the video tab mine is set to 1920 by 1080 so for this demonstration i'll keep the resolution at 1080. now back in our stream elements we're going to add widget go to alerts and then alert box now on the left hand side here you're going to see all the alerts that you can customize come up you got your follower alert subscriber alert tip alert so on and so forth now this blue border is where the alerts are going to be in relative to your stream overlay and i'll show you what i mean by that i'm going to go ahead and resize my obs and stream elements because we'll be bouncing back and forth between them like we're kids of divorced parents. It's going to be really helpful to have that side-by-side -side comparison view. Now in OBS under your source box, you're going to click the plus button. Then you're going to go to add browser. Make a new one and name it something like alerts. Over here, it's going to ask you to input a URL. So we're going to go back to stream elements. We're going to go up here to the link over here and copy the overlay URL. And then we're going to go back to OBS and paste the URL from stream elements. Because I set this to 1080p, I'm going to go ahead and change the width to 1920 and then height to 1080 and then hit OK. So before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. And we're going to call this something like Cosmos Overlay. Hit save. Now this and this should be connected. To test that they're connected, we're gonna go ahead and click the emulate bell at the bottom. You can click on any one of these events to test, but we're just gonna go ahead and use the follower event. And look at that. As the alerts show up on stream elements, it also shows up on OBS. In stream elements, this is the base canvas size. This is the 1920 by 1080 canvas size. And this is also 1920 by 1080. You'll notice that it shows up exactly on OBS as it does on stream elements. Now you can move this alert box anywhere you like by dragging it around. You could even make it big or small by pulling the corners in or out. If you're using Windows though, make sure you hold down the shift key so that way it maintains the shape as it's getting smaller or bigger. Otherwise, you'll collapse your box in an unnatural way and make your alerts look like something Picasso painted. So I'm going to go ahead and make it about this size and I'm going to move it to about the middle right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and test it out. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Something's fishy here. I moved it in the middle, but the alert still stayed where it was before on OBS. I'm just messing with you, Cosmo. That was a trick to see if you're paying attention. Remember, anytime you make a change in the overlay editor, you got to hit save for it to show up properly on OBS. Now that we saved it, let's go ahead and test it again. And there we go. What do you think so far, Cosmo? Okay. All right, now that we figured out how to connect stream elements to OBS, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the alert settings. Like the seven deadly sins, we got the same amount of alerts. If you ever want to turn any of them off, you can always just uncheck the box and they'll stop popping up. Now you can go ahead and edit each alert by clicking the cog button. When you first set this up, everything will be default alert image and sound by stream elements. If you want to customize it, there are places on the internet Internet, you can look for images and sound to use. If you do find an image that you like and want to use, you can always click set image and upload the image you want to use instead. You can do the same thing by uploading sound and use that instead. Let me know when you're ready for me to show you how to make custom alerts Cosmo and we can go into it more in depth next time. All right. You can change the volume of your sound. You can change the layout of your alerts. Now it's set for the image to be at the top and the text to be at the bottom like so. But we could even change it to have the image on the left and the text on the right. 
You could even change the name of the alert message to whatever you'd like. This variable you might not want to mess with because it automatically fills in the name of the person that triggered the alert. You can also set how long you want the alert to play for. Currently it's set to 10 seconds. I usually feel like 10 seconds is too long so I set it to about 5 seconds. If you want to feel like you have a personal butler to announce events for you, you can always enable the text-to-speech. I'm going to go ahead and mute it on stream elements because when I test it, it's going to double up in sound. But let's go ahead and test out the text-to-speech. Meryl is now following. Let's say you and Brian's chemistry isn't what it used to be. There's actually a whole lot of different voices that you can use. We got Hungarian, Filipino, Ukrainian, Italian. Let's go ahead and try Rosalinda. Silly is now following. That's super cool, right, Cosmo? Make it seem like you have more friends than you actually do. Another cool thing you can do if you speak another language, you can type in your language and have the voice of your language read it back to you. For instance, I actually happen to know some Japanese. So let me go ahead and change the setting here to Japanese. Foro, arigato. And we go back to the TTS setting. Japanese. Let's go ahead and say Takumi. Emulate follow event. Heck yeah. All right, as fun as that is, we're going to go ahead and move on. Another thing you can always change is the text settings. You can change the font, you can change the color, there's an option to change the size, and everything in between. We can even change the animation of how the image pops in and out. Let's just go ahead and pick some random animation. We want our image to go ahead and fade in down big. I don't know what that means, but we'll guess we're going to find out. And we want it to fade out by sliding out to to the right. And we're going to go ahead and give each of these animations at least a second duration. Otherwise, the animation will just default to regular because we won't be giving it enough time to complete the special animation. We're going to go ahead and hit save and then we're going to test it out. What's that thing you always say, Cosmo? Super cosmic. There's so many things you can do to customize in so many different ways. So go ahead, have at it, have fun, and enjoy setting it up. All right, the last thing I want to gloss over is the variation setting. Subscriber alert and cheer alerts have what's called variation setting. That means they have extra alerts depending on what type of action was done. For instance, let's check out the subscribe alert. And we're going to go ahead and go down to the variation setting. When people subscribe, they can either Either normally subscribe, they could resubscribe, give a gift sub, or do a community sub. And you can click the cog button to edit those individual settings. Cheer alerts also have their own variation settings that can be changed individually based on how many bits someone gives you. And you know what? I think that about covers the alerts, Cosmo. So you swore off gambling, huh? Swore off gambling. Clean man. You know what, though? I bet you by the end of the day I can get you gambling. Yeah, I'm gonna. Nope. 20 to 1 odds. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, 50. No way. Come on, Cosmo. You know what? 100 to 1 odds. All right, deal. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about, my man. You know what? I'm going to get you. I don't know how, but I'm going to get you. You won't. You won't. No way. <laughs>